By the way, I apologize if you hear commercials in the back. I'm watching the O'Reilly Factor right now. The Sandra Fluke discussion is a whole other story, but I'll get to that probably eventually later. Although what I'd like to say is that, unfortunately, Sandra Fluke knows what she's doing, but to make a long story short, I agree with her that Catholic universities should cover birth control, but again, that's a whole other discussion that I'll get into later. And what I wanted to talk about was the story where the Israeli Postal Service is refusing to deliver Bibles because they say that the Bibles are missionary and proselytizing material. And I don't know, someone made a good point, we don't know whether or not those Bibles were specifically addressed. And even if they weren't, those Bibles could have been delivered because if business mail is delivered, then Bibles should be delivered even if it's en masse. Or en masse. So, to make a long story short, what I found really objectionable about the whole story was not what was going on per se, because unfortunately you're going to have anti-missionaries who will do what they do. But some of the commentators are being really rude and saying that Jesus was a heretic, that the Christians have killed Jews, that is specifically Catholics killing Jews with the Crusades and stuff, that the Bible is like Mein Kampf. First of all, that's really, some of those comments are really inappropriate because if you take history, you'll learn that true Christians, as someone pointed out, have always supported Israel and the Jews that the first Christians were Jews, and that Catholics are not, with few exceptions, Catholics are not Christians, because they do not believe in the inerrancy of the Word of God. The Catholic and the Lutheran churches did indeed have a complicit role in the Holocaust, and it was the so-called Pope Pius who enabled the Nazis, but if you also look at that the Nazis believed in social Darwinism, then you'll realize that the Holocaust, that the Crusades, and whatever else has been against the Jews in the name of Christianity has not been true Christianity. So, as someone put in other words on the comments on YNET News, basically, Think before you speak and do your research before you speak.